Today we're looking at the production of starch by plants during photosynthesis. So inside our beaker of hot water in our uh, water bath here we have placed a leaf for 30 seconds. Claire, why did we place the leaf into the hot water for the 30 seconds? Uh, to stop the chemical reactions. Good girl, so yeah, that stops any chemical reactions. And now Richard, would you, using your tweezers please, transfer the, the leaf into our alcohol, please? And we're going to leave it in the alcohol for um, 10 minutes in our hot water bath. Now, Richard, why are we placing the leaf into the alcohol for the 10 minutes? To remove the chlorophyll. Excellent. To remove the chlorophyll. And what colour is chlorophyll? Who can tell me that? Green. Excellent. Very good. Green. Yes. So it's going to remove the green chlorophyll. Excellent. Very, very good. Now... Um, Sarah, why are we using a hot water bath to heat um, the alcohol rather than a Bunsen burner? Uh, alcohol is very flammable, so it's safer. Good girl. Excellent. Yes, it is very flammable and it's a much safer method of heating it. So that's wonderful. Very, very good. So now we are going to just examine one that we prepared earlier. So we'll just move this one to the side. And Richard, this is one that we set up earlier and we can see the alcohol has turned what colour now? Green. Excellent. So what made it go green? What turned it green? Chlorophyll. The chlorophyll. Very good. So Richard, would you mind removing that leaf from the boiling tube? If I can. Yeah. It's not going so well. Yeah, just re yeah, you've got it there. Right, I'll give you a hand there. Good man. <laughs> it is kind of hard to get yeah, out. I'll just take it out here. Okay, so now we have here, Richard, I'll give it back to you there. So we've removed the leaf from the, the alcohol. Thank you. Now, um, how should the leaf feel now, um, Carl? It's soft. Oh, sorry, Richard. Brittle. So what do we have to do to soften it? Put it in water. So if you dip it into the boiling water, Richard, please, just to soften it. Very good. Okay, now, so you can place it onto the white tile. Excellent. So what colour is our leaf now, Laura? Green. Excellent. So what's been removed from it? The chlorophyll. The chlorophyll. So we put it in boiling water initially to stop any chemical reactions. We put it into alcohol then to remove the chlorophyll. And then we had to dip it into hot water to soften the leaf because it had been turned brittle. And now we can see it's completely, and it has gone very cream actually. So we want to test and see if this plant has undergone photosynthesis. So has it stored food as starch? So what do we use to test for starch? Good girl, Ian. Excellent. Iodine solution. So Richard, using our dropper here, can you add some of the iodine solution onto our leaf? And what are we, yeah, we can put a bit more on it. Very good. Now, what are we hoping to observe? Hands up and tell me. What are we hoping to observe if there is starch? Uh, yes, Rory. That it will turn blue black. That it will turn blue black, okay. Now, if the iodine stays red brown, what will that indicate to us? There's no starch. That there's no starch, exactly. So, um, it doesn't appear that this leaf is turning to blue-black, which may indicate that we didn't leave it out in the bright light for mm -hmm. long enough to produce food because we had de-starched the plant initially before we used it. Okay? And I think there are little bits at the, at the <coughs> side there. So that's our experiment to test the leaf for starch. 